we're going to look at Toby now, which is a multimedia production tool uh, which allows you to, to synchronise text with narration or audio files and create a, a multimedia DAISY talking book. So this is Toby and you can see first of all that the interface is divided into three frames. I'll explain the purpose of each one. First of all, I'm going to select File, then Open Import to import an XML file. When I import the XML document, this is the one we did previously, you can see that in the left hand pane is the document structure, i.e. the heading structure, and in the main pane is the document itself. Toby is keyboard accessible so it might be uh, worthwhile getting to know some of the keyboard shortcuts as this will also help to increase the speed for creating uh, a daisy book, particularly when you will be synchronising the narration with uh, audio and text. Okay, so let's get started. Here is the imported file. There are some basic text editing features such as copy and paste, but otherwise they are limited so you'll need to make sure your document is in its finished format. If I select a piece of text and then select text uh, and edit text from the toolbar, you can amend or add the text that's in the box. You can also navigate through the text uh, with the different paragraphs of text by using select next fragment of text uh, buttons or by using the, the keyboard shortcuts control plus full stop for moving down the page and control plus comma for moving up the page. So that's control plus full stop for moving down and control plus comma for moving up the page. Now we can also ext extend the hierarchical structure of the document on the left hand pane and this is another way of navigating. So too you can increase the size of the text by the program by using the zoom in and out buttons and then everything can be reset by selecting the sun button. If you only want to increase the size of the text then there's a slider bar next to the font option. The text format can also be changed here by using the font option. OK, the next stage then is to start synchronising the document with some narration by using the record button on the bottom left hand side of the bottom pane. This is the audio narration pane. I would uh, really recommend that you use the keyboard shortcut, shortcut keys here. So Ctrl plus R to start recording and Shift Ctrl plus R to stop or pause recording. So that's Ctrl plus R to start and Shift Ctrl plus R to, to pause or stop recording. OK, so to get started, I'm going to navigate to the top of the document and then start recording the narration just bit by bit. You can see here that the save name of the document, the author's name and the page number appear at the top, just as it would be in an ordinary book, a normal book. This will also carry through to the final Daisy Talking Book. I've started to record the, nar the, the narration although I'm not sure if you can hear it, but you can see the recording level in the bottom pane just to the right. As I record the narration, I can simultaneously navigate through the document to synchronise the text with the narration. If I want to uh, pause or stop the recording, then all I need to do is simply click on the stop button or press the keyboard shortcuts uh, shift Control plus R. You can also see that it's possible to jump to the end and beginning using the jump to buttons or alternative, alternatively sorry, preview the recording with the preview buttons. And there's also the play button to listen to your recording. So you can see there are bits in the recording with spaces or pauses. These can be deleted by simply highlighting the start and end point of the recording and then finally by selecting the delete audio in waveform button you can delete uh, the, that bit, piece of text uh, or audio. And you can also view the entire recording by selecting the Bring Entire Audio Content into View. Toby also offers and options, uh, sorry, Toby also offers an option to import existing audio files such as MP3 or WAV. This could be either a previously recorded, recorded uh, narration like we did in Balabolka or a computer synthetic voice such as Heather. Or you could even add some music at the beginning, maybe middle or an end, to give your book a, a multimedia feel to the, the Daisy Talking Book. So once you're ready, once it's all synchronised, the final stage is to export your synchronised project to a Daisy Book. This is done by selecting File and then Export. You'll need to create a folder to save your exported file, then select Destination and export your file. 
remember to save your project as well. At this stage I'd recommend you use AMI again to open up your Toby exported book.